This... This is... Uh, uh, huh? Azure, where? Isn't this... Where I met you, Azure? It's like that beach, so that means... Could it be? No, it is! Where? We're in the past! We're back in our world! Yes! We did it, Azure! Ugh. Hey, Grovile! Look around! We made it home! Back to our world! So, we did it? We made it through, back to this world? Yep! This is where I met Azure. Let's see. It was around here. This is where I found Azure out cold. So that's what happened. That trip through time sent me into the eastern forest. And Azure and I both reached your world far away from each other. Oh, that's right! There's a lot I don't understand, like the whole time travel thing. Can you explain it to us, please? But this isn't really the place to talk, so... Let's go into Wigglytuff's Guild and talk there. Before we went into the future, we trained there and lived there. It's the perfect place. Alright, let's go to Wigglytuff's Guild. Hold on. Will I be well received if I go to the guild? After all, I'm a wanted outlaw in this world. If I went to your guild, won't everyone be shocked? Don't you think they try to capture me? Eh, come to think of it, you're right. What to do? Oh, I know. There's a good place. But it will mean cutting through Treasure Town. Shouldn't be a problem if we lie low and sneak through. Lead the way. Alright, it's this way. This cliff is known as Sharpedo Bluff. Sharpedo Bluff? Yep. I think they call it that because the cliff is shaped like a Pokemon named Sharpedo. As far as I can tell, nothing seems out of the ordinary. It's down here. This is where I lived before I joined the guild. Go on, go in. I see. This is a hollow chamber in the face of the cliff. Phew. I'm glad no one's wrecked this place. Goes to show nobody takes any notice of this place. Might be better if we stayed here for a while. Agreed. But Azure... I never expected you to be the very same Azure. Grovow, can you tell us more about that? Yes, Azure and I. We are jointly investigating the plant's paralysis. A Pokemon and a human paired together? Yeah, and Azure had or has a special ability like no other. We relied on that special ability to investigate the plant's paralysis. It played a vital part. By special ability, you mean a dimensional scream, don't you? Exactly. But the dimensional scream has a drawback. The dimensional screen requires the presence of a trusted Pokemon partner. Without that partner, the ability cannot be triggered. A trusted partner? That's why we work together. The dimensional screen is set off by triggers tied to places where the time gears are hidden. We needed to find out where the time gears were in the past. We needed the dimensional screen to accomplish that. Wait, hold on a second. You said that the dimensional screen needs a trusted partner nearby. The dimensional screen was going off not long after we met. Your point? Doesn't that show how much you two trusted each other from the start? Ah, when you put it like that. I mean, it's a bit embarrassing. In addition, Azure developed amnesia. Upon meeting you, Munchlax, your partner had someone to turn to. Perhaps Azure grew to trust you very quickly because of that. Oh! There's one other thing I don't understand. Does an dimensional scream go off in relation to only time gears? Right, the opposite is also true. The Dimensional Scream is not triggered in places that aren't connected to Time Gears. Hmm. Really? I don't remember it that way. 
Hey, Azure, do you remember that time when I went off near Drowsy? And during our first exploration. And there were other times, too. We went to places that seemed to have nothing to do with time gears. But even in places like that, the dimensional scream went off, right? Are you sure? But that never happened in the future. The dimensional scream was never triggered by places that had no tie to time gears whatsoever. Well, if that's true, I don't know why it would work differently here. Perhaps things are just different in this world. Perhaps the nature of the dimensional scream has altered in the past. So in the future, the dimensional scream doesn't work in places that have no connection to time gears? Oh, that explains it. Maybe that's why, that time, when we were in the future. Your dimensional scream! Use your dimensional scream, Azure! Touch this frozen water. Who knows, you may see something. Oh, I understand. That's true. It's worth a try. Touching that frozen water, it might give us clues about what's happening to us. You shouldn't waste any time. Those sable eye will catch up to us. Let's do this quickly. Uh, how's it going, Azure? Can you see anything? No. I'm not sensing anything. Maybe I couldn't envision anything that time we were in the future, because we were in a place that wasn't tied to any time gears. Maybe that's why my dimensional screen failed to work. Maybe Girl Vile is right about the future and the past being different. Or different enough to make my dimensional screen ability work differently. Anyway, like I was saying, we were investigating planet's paralysis. We used the dimensional screen ability to identify the location of time gears in your world while we were in the future. That's it! Here! A time gear is here! I see. Place the drought stone in Groudon's heart. That lifts the fog. Very well done. Good job, partner. After identifying the location of where time gears would be in the past, we took the passage of time. That brought us from our world in your future to this world. However... Whoa! Uh, are you okay? No, don't let go. Just a little longer. Come on, hang on. No, no, I can't. Hold on. Wah! We encountered turbulence while we were traveling through time. Thus, Azure and I became separated. For some reason, Azure got amnesia and was turned into a Pokemon. I can only guess that it had something to do with the accident while traveling through time. I came from the future. And not just that, I came up with the mission of preventing the planet's paralysis. I don't know, it seems so outlandish. It doesn't feel real somehow. So Azure, you may not remember any of this, but you are my closest friend. I worried about you when we were separated. I'm glad to see you're safe. Your appearance may have changed, and though you have lost your memory, you're still you. And none of this alters the fact that you remain my friend. Oh, Azure, I'm glad to see you again. Now, we have to decide on our course of action. Like I've told you before, I'm going to collect the time gears again. What are you going to do? Um, I'm a bit worried about how time stops in a region where a time gear is removed, but that's really only a temporary thing? That's right. As soon as the time gears are set in place at Dunportal Tower, time will be restored to its normal state everywhere. Well then, we'll go too. We'll go with you, Groval. Taking a time gear will cause trouble for Pokemon that live in that area, but we have to stop the planet's paralysis. Okay then, we'll go together. But the hour is late. We're also exhausted from all the running we've done. We should rest up tonight. We'll leave in the morning. Hmm? Munchlax isn't here. Maybe outside? What's the matter? Can't sleep? Yeah, just thinking. Thinking about Dust Noir? No, not that. Sure, finding out that we are being duped really hurt. But hearing what you had to say earlier, Grovile... 
made me realize that what Dust Noir said in the future really was true. And it made me understand that Azure really did come from the future. I was thinking about things like that. Hey! Look, Grovile. Sunlight! It's sunrise! It's pretty, isn't it? Yes. Maybe it's because we were in the future for so long. I didn't think that a sunrise can feel so renewing. The sun rises, then it sets. We take that for granted, and that's only natural. But things we take for granted, they're really the most essential things, and they're precious. All I ever known is the future's world darkness. Upon coming to this world, and seeing the sun for the first time, it was staggering. Seeing it, it strengthened my resolve to turn history away from the future of darkness. There is one thing that I wanted to ask of you, Munchlax. It's about that time in the future, when we were confronted by a Dialga. Frankly, we were in a no-win situation. There was no hope. We shall be rid of you for all time. This is the end. For you. <laughs> uh, hey, Azure Grovile, you can't give up. <laughs> Say not to give up. But what can we possibly do in this bleak situation? We had to think! But when all seemed lost, you refused to give up. Even I had given up. What compelled you? How did you manage to stay so strong? Well, I wondered too. I really don't know. But maybe. Maybe it was just because Azure stood by me. Azure? Take a look at this. This... What could it be? There's an odd pattern inscribed on it. I've never seen anything like it. This pattern is new to me. This is my relic fragment. It's my personal treasure. It's my dream to one day solve the mystery of this fragment. But I was such a coward. I couldn't even work up enough courage to see if I could apprentice at the guild. It was then that I met Azure. Azure. Well, alright. I'm gonna believe you, Azure. Yes, I totally believe in you. Yes, Azure was always there, cheering me up. And... Look, scary stuff! But we gotta be brave! I gotta face up to this! No stopping now, Azure! It all gave me courage. With Azure, I felt like I could conquer any challenge. That's how I came to think over time. Maybe that's why I was able to keep going without giving up. Alright, I think I understand what you're saying. Yes, Azure has a special quality that makes others feel that way. Same way that I care for Azure as a friend. You, Munchlax, also feel the same way about Azure. Azure is lucky to be blessed with a friend like you. Well, it's morning. We should be leaving soon. Yep. Alright. It's agreed that we will collect all the time gears. First, we have to decide which time gear we should target. Let's check the wonder map. From here? I guess the underground lake would be the closest. How about True Shroud Forest? That is where I got my first time gear the last time. Where is that? Here. It's a little far from here, but... There's no one like Uxie guarding that time gear. Great! We have to fight someone over our time gear, that would attract attention. But we wouldn't have to worry about that here, right? Exactly. That's settled. That's where we'll go. The Tree Shout Forest. This is it. This is the entrance to Tree Shout Forest. Oh? What's up, Grovile? The atmosphere somehow feels different than last time. No, I must be imagining it. We'll go in when you're ready. Alright, after that big, really long plot dump, um, we need to do, we need to get all the time gears. So we're starting off with Tree Shout Forest. How will it fare for us?
Uh, I'm out of room again. Uh, I will just do that. We'll find out next time on Azure Plays Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explores the Sky. See you guys then.